Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers and Resources. I hope you're having a great day. We are picking up pretty much right where we left off. Uh, apparently with a traffic jam. Oh, it's just this. No big deal. Yep. You just get the bitumen and load it up. It's like 13,000 every time. It's great. Uh, so I wanted to do the setup for this stuff with you guys instead of doing it offline. Because I know you guys like that. So rather than just saying I'll do this and then I'll be right back. We're going to do it with you. So we got a lot of things to do. First thing I want to do is I want to set up a new distribution office. And um, I kind of want this to be a pretty important thing to do. So I'm going to cancel the road crew's jobs at the moment. They got a lot of stuff they're doing, which is auto search. And that's great and all. Uh, none of that stuff is high priority, though. So I don't have to cancel it. So what I want to do is we're going to add a small distribution office. And we're going to add it right about here, I think. Right about here. And then we're going to take a road from here. That's about good, I think. And then bring that in like that. All right. Road crew, this is you. And you're, that's your only high priority project for now. This distribution office is going to be responsible for moving a lot of products around. Because we don't actually have the ability to do that just yet. The other thing it's going to do is just general delivery for other various goods around to the repair centers so we don't actually have a way for example to deliver steel to all three repair centers right now unless we're using dedicated trucks because i took the distribution center from the border and i eliminated it and i moved things around so when i did that i stopped delivering steel to these guys and as you can see they don't really have the means at the moment to repair anything so i need a office that's dedicated to taking steel out of this building which is of course delivered by the train now and uh, 382 tons. This is great. And uh, delivering it around to all the various places that are going to use it. So we're going to have mechanical components delivered this way and all that kinds of stuff. Okay. So well, and eventually we're going to have mechanical components, I think, delivered in... Um, is there a... Yeah, this little small warehouse here is what I was going to do for that. So there's a way to get this small warehouse in and connect it to the road. I just... I got to figure out where that position is again. There's a way to do that. I know. I already know there is. Uh, I think it was actually all the way back out. I don't remember where it was, but I know there is a way. Okay. And so uh, we'll get, we'll get this little tiny one here. And that little tiny one is where we will eventually deliver mechanical components and electrical components to this area. And then that will get distributed by this distribution office and moved around to the various repair centers and stuff. As a fallback, in case that doesn't work, we can always deliver it to this building. But this building is, well, this building is reserved for other things. Uh, I'm going to take electronics and pull that back. We don't need that many. And uh, I'm going to allow alcohol to be stored in a higher quantity because we're making quite a lot of it. Let's go ahead and sell some things as well. So the train that was doing this and bringing us stuff, I put it back in here. We're going to swap this out because we don't need it. And we're going to bring four boxcars on this train now and what I want you to do what I want you to do is I want you to come here all right you're gonna load food and alcohol that's your new things yay um then you're gonna take it to the border and you're gonna sell it it's uh, it's wonderful when you get to the border and you sell the food and alcohol I want you to buy crops because we're going to run out. I know it's harvest season right now, but we're actually cranking on stuff. So uh, I want you to buy crops at the border and then bring them back to this. And then you'll unload your crops, right? Wait till unloaded. That's fine. All right. You can wait till loaded here too. It's cool. No, I don't want you to do that because we're not going to do very many trips here with this train. I think probably only two at most we're going to do here, but it's going to be a pretty good source of cash. So I wanted to do that. So let's go ahead and launch. And of course, this train has no reason to merge over to the right. So most likely it ends up on the wrong track again. I could put signals in to stop that. But once you put a signal in, you you have to signal the whole place. So I think temporarily just to prevent the headache. What I'll do is I'll do this. All right. I'll say, hey, this is only one way, bucko. And this thing will be like, uh, okay then. Well, if that's only one way, I guess I'll... I guess I'll turn right and go the other way. Thanks for the heads up on that direction. Appreciate it. And that'll get it on the right side. 
but once you put signals on your tracks you're gonna run into a problem where oh this guy doesn't have any prefab panels see that's what i'm talking about we need that to happen uh let's borrow you know i don't want to borrow trucks this covered hall has clothes i actually want you to put the clothes back because the train can do it now anyway i don't need you to go to the border anymore uh, so I'm going to actually have you unload your clothes here and then come back to the depot and do nothing. That's your, that's the new route you're, you're doing. Congratulations. Your job is to, is to let go of everything you have and do nothing. Uh, the other thing I want road crews to do is the factory connection that is right here. Because we're technically not delivering cement to the concrete plant anymore. So all the concrete we're making is just dipping into its already filled supply that it had before. But once this runs out, it won't have any more left. That's because we're taking cement and dropping it off at the storage now. But there's no factory connection actually built. So that needs to be a high priority for the road crews as well. So these two things are the things that my road crews really should be working on soon. The next thing I want to do is I want to hook up heat for the police station. And actually, before I do this, I noticed that we were getting a little light over here. So let me just double check what we've got going on for the drop off. And I think we're going to hold off on doing waste for a while and just have the coal power plant be like the place everybody goes. Okay. That and processing. But processing doesn't need as much. We'll go like this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So distribution office check. Aha. Well, let's do the helicopters thing too, because I... I want to make sure I'm not blocking this. Explosives, I've decided, is going to go over with the chemicals. But you're going to go right here. I think we'll just connect you to this road for now. All right. So we got the helicopters for asphalt there, and the helicopters for concrete are right here. This is pretty much full now. So we're going to need to transport that. So I want to buy a couple of vehicles... I don't really think I want to go through the hassle of... Oh, this one, right? We're supposed to bring steel with this one. So let me grab steel here real quick and uh, bring it to the repair shop over here and wait till unloaded, okay? Good. Uh, but we need another truck that's going to do that very same thing, bringing the prefabs over here. Uh, or I need to give the building office something to do with prefab panels. I can accommodate that. We'll go like that, and we'll go uh, these two things. That's going to take a lot of prefab panels, so now you have a reason to use them. Yeah, electricity problem. This is going to be a constant thing. I, it's really a shame that it is, because, like, I've got so many buses. There's five buses coming to this station. And I still can't keep them, right? I don't know if it's a speed thing. Like this one right here, right? This is one of the coal drop-off buses. And uh, it's got 17 workers on it. It's not They're not full. That's the other problem, right? They're not full. They're also traveling. They don't quite get... Yeah, they do. Okay, eventually they get to max speed, but it takes them a bit. They had to slow down for this part, so I still need to uh, do all this part as asphalt. I haven't gotten there yet. But I'm working on it, all right? I need to get these guys going so that we can get these buses repaired. I'm allowing them to leave, but they're not leaving. Cancel repair, cancel repair. Just get back on the road, you buses. Get back on the road. All right? I know you're not doing well, but I need you. I need you to move around. All right. Heat for this. We need to take care of that, too. We know, I, I'm pretty confident we're going to be doing some housing expansions over here. So, because of that, nice dark green, right? Because of that, I can provide heat to this area too. Now, what I wanted to do in this area, and I, I'm hesitant to start placing things because it may work. What I wanted to do in this area is to get the railway distribution office going. And so, we have the, the research done right here, or at least started right here. We're not going to be able to use this right away. I mean, we can place it. And that's the reason why. Like, I, I need to be able to do this. I need to be able to click it and like see how big it is. I'm hoping that that office... I was hoping that office would fit here. 
pretty confident it won't now because of this. So now I'm hoping it fits here, but it may not. And so what I might have to do is move this road and uh, maybe even just, I don't really want to get rid of the road, but I may have to like have this road curve around and like curve around a station, which is not going to look great. Um, the other thing I could do maybe is place it here and then just have it merge into here. But that presents the same problem we had before where my distribution trains are entering really close to an intersection. And I don't want that either. So what I wanted to do is to place it right here so that my distribution rail was this rail. And that way the construction office trains will come through the distribution office to get where they need to go. Now you may think that that's a bad thing because rail distribution seems like a heavy traffic area, but your distribution trains are going to spawn in this office. They're not going to pass through it, which means trains will come in here and then they'll disappear. It means they're out of the way. Okay. The other thing I could do here along with that is to place a fuel station right in front of it too. That way my distribution trains could get refueling and go. I'm not going to do that though, because I can actually provide fuel directly to the distribution office anyway. So all the trains that spawn will have full fuel. And then the other thing is if I place a uh, fuel station here, other trains will probably cut, try to come and get it. And I don't want that either. All right. What I want to do now that we have um, a lot of stuff happening here, alcohol got sold. That's pretty good. Our money went up and uh, this thing's bringing 214 tons of crops. That's 7,000 rubles worth of crops, bringing it back here. All right. What we should see is this sucker filling up and this sucker filling up. This one's already pretty much full. And uh, what I'd love to see is us to produce more clothing. I really need to produce more clothing. So I'm going to kick the workers on this count on this building to 60. And I'm going to kick the worker maximum over here to 60 as well. I want to crank these two workplaces and get more people in here so we can make more clothing since we have good deliveries of crops there now. now you can see we're sucking down the food and that's going to eliminate all of our alcohol. So I don't want to do any more deliveries for this food. So we're going to say that after this, after you're done here, I want you to drop off the crops. All right. Here. Yep. I want you to drop off the crops, wait till unloaded. All right. And then uh, after that, you will add this as a do nothing. Uh, ooh, I can't do it that way. Uh, yes, I can. So I can, I can do it this way. I can say that I want you to come back to the cargo station from here. Yeah, this is what I want. And then uh, you are going to unload, wait till unloaded, and this route goes away. So now when you're done selling this load, and I realize this is very micromanagey, I don't intend to do this for all my trains. I'm just doing it for the first one since... Like, I, I don't have a full logistical reason for the train just yet. It's not fully set up yet. It will get there, okay? And in fact, as we start creating more and more, I hope to have this sitting here waiting till loading for, for clothes again, which would be really good. Um, and then get a second train for these types of resources. That'd be good, too. I want to buy a couple of vehicles. We're going to do open hauls here. And I'm going to go for capacity. I'm going to buy a few more of these. These MZ504s, I think they're okay. We're going to buy a couple of these. Chances are they spawned over here. So let's just real quick see. Yep, right there. So what I want you to do, your first route, uh, until this rail is done, which is very close, I want you to take prefabs from there and drop them here. All right, so you're going to load, load prefabs, and then you're going to unload the prefabs in here. And I'll tell you to wait till unloaded. That's good. That's your new route. Make that happen, please. There you go. Uh, you'll, you're just going to start it right now. Yep, good. Uh, and then we're going to do another thing. But this one's going to have a slightly different route. What we want this one to do is instead of going to the rail construction office, you're going to go here. And you're going to start unloading them here. All right. And then you don't need to wait till unloaded because you'll never be unloaded. You're never going to have to wait for that. Um, so that way, we end up getting one train take our one truck taking them over to the rail construction office so that they can continue making their tracks and then the second one and hopefully by continue making their tracks hopefully that means making this one and getting up here so that my i could probably put my train to work with the flat cars doing this back and forth which would be really nice 
Uh, did we unload? Not yet. Where's that train at? There it is. The so nearly 40,000 rubles worth of stuff on that train. That'll hold us over. In case you're wondering why the money's not flying up like it used to be, uh, it's because we're buying electronics now, remember? So if you take a look at the prices for, let's say, last month. Hell, we can even go one month back. Let's say September, right? Look at September. Oh, sorry. This is September to October. So I need to do something like this. So just for the month of September, we imported 143,000 electronics, right? And since September 1st, we've imported over a quarter million rubles worth of electronics so that our people can have radios, right? Now, obviously, our exports are doing pretty good, but they're not great, right? They could be better. So we need to keep cranking on that, too. And I think I want maybe a few more people to work alcohol because I think we can process that pretty fast, too. Okay? Okay. Now, the train is buying crops, of course, because this isn't going to be sufficient. We don't have a whole lot of overflow over here. Or here. I hear it. We need to find it. Look for the fire. My coal processing plant is on fire. Where's my helicopter? I want to see it. I can't see it. There it is. Whew, so small. So it says 3% is the progress of the fire. And there's no active firefighters. Now it's 4%. So it's, it's going up pretty slow. We got two fire trucks in route, but it's going really slow, so it may not be enough. So now we get fire helicopter. Come on over here and pay for yourself. You goofy looking. This is my first NATO vehicle, actually. My first Western vehicle was this thing. Pour it on the building. There it is. 3%, 2%, 1%. Fire helicopters to the rescue. <laughs> now, it wasn't all this thing. The, the firefighters did eventually get there. But had they not gotten there in time, this thing would have saved us, which is awesome. So I love seeing the fire helicopters. They're awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, what else did I want to make sure I was doing? Uh, we only have one open hull. One open hull? Yeah, one open hull uh, in this, just bringing bricks to the scenes and stuff. But, you know, we're going to have more houses very soon and uh, more people will be coming. We would really like to get this taken care of, actually, police station. So, assuming... I'm going to assume that if I was to place the rail distribution office in this space, I could I could make the building on this side. So let's say that our heat exchanger is going to be right about here, just far enough. Or at least where this pipe at. Ugh. Just far enough to where it will uh, cover that building. All right, so right about here. Trying to keep it away from, uh, away from that pipe. Yeah, I, I got room there now. Okay, so this pipe from the heating plant, we'll put it from this side bring it over here and where is it it's right there okay so we can't bring it direct it won't let me but there may be a spot over here where it lets me build without having to dip it low i really don't want to dip this thing low can you maybe can you maybe not require me to dip it low all right you know what here we'll we'll dip it a little bit low okay just a little bit to get underneath this just to make you happy okay just this side, though. Then we bring it back up. Yep, we bring it back up underground, and it goes right in here. Okay, and I don't want it to do all these weird, fancy curve things. That's good. All right, so this is just going to be the heat. Now, that pipe is very expensive. It's a 70-ton of steel pipe. We don't need this built right away because we're not going to 
have anybody working here until the spring. That's how I'll get around that problem. Do faster speed. So I was told if there are less than 25 work days for the road, then uh, they won't send mechanisms to it and you need workers. That's what I was told. I don't know if that's true because I, I don't know how that stuff works, but I'm seeing 36 work days here, but I'm also seeing essentially nobody coming here. So I'm going to assume that maybe workers do need to be involved in these two. So I'm going to do it uh, for the other roads that I'm wanting to get done. Let's see what other roads could we do. How about this stretch over here? This seems like a good thing to do. I can pull that road out of there because it's not needed. That makes this whole thing one big stretch. And then we mark that. Uh, we don't want to do both of them, of course. So we'll wait till this one's done and then do the other one. Anytime you see traffic jam and it's an oil truck, it's just this area, right? They're trying to load bitumen. And basically, we're pumping it directly into trucks at this point. Which is working out. You know, that does work. Speaking of working, can I see what they have for used vehicles? Like, I'm all about... I will buy another one of those stupid things. Those tunnelers. I will buy another one. If it's that cheap, absolutely. Even if just to scrap it, because it will be worth it. But I'm definitely looking for really good deals over time. Like, uh, diesel locomotives here. Uh, this isn't too bad. No, sorry. That's a 40, mi that's a 40 kilometer one. I, this is the one I was looking at. That's not that big of a discount either. I would like to find the metro trains. Because metro trains are pretty good for price versus their weight. So we'll, we'll look at that too. Because again, I'm going to have scrapping going. I'm almost ready to start building this more seriously. You're very good here. Somebody said that this doesn't fit. Like the design of the town doesn't fit. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to fit into. Because... Like, I only have one other city, and this is a completely separate city, so it doesn't have to fit. It's, uh, like, I'm not sure exactly what you meant by fit, but uh, either way, this is the design for now. I can change this by adding more comfortable housing if I want to. This is light on steel, 13 tons of steel, or is it 100 and... Because we, we made the designs for this before we had the better houses, right? So if I wanted to put better housing in here, I could just replace these. I haven't started construction yet, so replacing these would be easy. And by the looks of it, because of how thin this is, I may actually be able to place two in each of these gaps. And that would be very dense housing, wouldn't it? Ooh, that'd be very interesting, I think. I might look at that. At the moment, though, really all we have is just a bunch of gravel roads done, and that's okay with me. Okay, I want uh, more plows. I don't have any. I don't have enough snow plows right now, so this requires workers. Go ahead and have that marked. And we have 59 workers waiting for a bus here. They have been waiting on this platform for too damn long. Thankfully, the refinery bus is here to save the day. <laughs> Very good. I want to make more alcohol. Ah, we're dealing with the power problems again. Sweet, sweet power problems all over again. All right. All right. Honestly, cable cars cannot come fast enough. Cableways, I mean. Yeah, cableways. Cableways cannot be here fast enough. In fact, let me look at... <laughs> right then and there. How about that? Uh, let's do steel cables. Yep, we're going to do that. And then uh, small headquarters... Still working on you. That's going to take a while. Why don't we add more people to this? Let's staff 30 at this building. We can push that a little faster. We'll staff 60 here. Push that a little faster. And then we'll add more people to the research project. Oh, yeah. Now that is what I'm talking about. That's research speed. We can do that, too. That's research speed right there. Who needs more smart people? We got 56% of our population educated. Who needs smart people? We got the smart people. Let's get the research. Hmm? Okay. Um, so, radio is, is the next major construction project. It's 396 tons of steel. And I believe we, can, we can't reach it yet. 
I want to be able to reach it. Let me take a look at walking paths here. So off of this, ex this little extension here, I want to bring this all the way across like that. And then straight over in a straight line over like this. And then we will connect here to here and then also to here. So that is how we will connect this. And then we could maybe even, I, I could probably say, well, this needs a road, right? Yeah, this, this will need a road. It can be a gravel road though. It doesn't have to be fancy. So we need a road that kind of comes out. You know, and I want to do a monument here too. Or is there something else that would work? Like a tourism thing. I can almost fit in a gallery of art in here. Actually, I can fit it here. Which wouldn't be half bad, to be honest. I'm not doing anything else with this space. Yeah. Let's do a gallery of art right here. Is this the gravel road? E. Uh, let's upgrade that first before I start messing with it. You can upgrade this one as well. Yeah, those two are getting upgraded now too. So we'll add those to the list. Uh, walking paths. Let's go ahead and mark those plans in place. And then, you know what? Let's put another monument in. I want this little one, actually. The Terras Svenchenko thing. I don't, I don't know how you say it. Uh, Shevchenko. Yeah. Terras, Terras Shevchenko. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, I'm going to put this right up against this road. Super close. And then um, we will wait until this walking path is done before I connect that. And I'll just connect it with a dirt path. Because we don't need anything fancy there either. Uh, it looks like we're done buying electronics. Which is good. Because <laughs> we have a full... You know, we, we've stored, up, stored them up and everything already. So that's good. We have 13 tons in here that we can pull from already. Which is great. And... Uh, Overall, I think things are going pretty smooth. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Let me know how you think it's how you think it's going. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to get a better, more even spread on my plowing and stuff. So I got these two free technical offices that have had three snow plows in them each, but they're kind of close to my other ones. I don't think having everybody start in this area is a very good idea. So I've deleted this one and told those vehicles to come on over to here. So eventually when they're done, this might be one of them because he's not plowing. So he's on his way over here now, right? So what I'd like them to do is start working in this temporary one over here. I've moved it to here. And so we can get these snow plows to start in this area. I'm hoping this means that these roads near coal start getting plowed more often. That's what I'm hoping. I'm also gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna tell all you guys to go to this depot and then we're gonna get rid of this too. Cause again, I think, I think having everybody start here is not very efficient. We should have them spread out and start all over the place. And so I'd like to move that one, I think, to be maybe right over here. We're gonna start these guys here. And that way around construction and stuff can have those roads plowed better too. I think that's a fine idea. This guy is uh, going slow. Probably because we don't have a whole lot of workers in there. That makes sense. And uh, we actually have some reconstruction happening here. I'm going to tell everybody to work here because I don't like the fact that there's only five people in this. We got some reconstruction happening here. Productivity of this building is 70% of normal. Because it's got 50% wear and tear. So construction crews and stuff are going to have to bring 21 tons of steel. Like a whole bunch of stuff. And then 244 workdays to reconstruct this, right? Basically rejuvenate our heating plant. Same thing is also happening to the coal plant, which is at 70% productivity as well. And the coal processing center, which is also uh, at 54% wear and tear. So it's at 67% productivity, but it does have 100% efficiency with its machines. 61 tons of steel was delivered to this coal or processing building. So that's kind of a lot. Everything's very expensive, as you can tell. And we only have 268 tons left. So, you know, again, very expensive. Okay. We got this walking path, as you know, going up this way. And if I can get 
Maybe this one, I think. If we can get this done... Where is it? Uh, <laughs> over here. If I can get that completed, then uh, I have access to this building, and I can start delivering the resources over here, too. I do want this radio station built pretty... I don't know about ASAP. I have 1% unemployment, so I'm doing okay on balancing workers. Um, in general, if you're curious on that issue, um, you do want unemployment, okay? Having unemployment is good. You don't want a lot of it, of course, but having help unemployment, like above maybe three to five percent, that's a very healthy economy. You want that because it means new businesses can spawn. It means new investments can be made and that there will be workers available to work in those businesses. When you get to zero percent unemployment, growth in your economy is going to stagnate hard. You're not going to be able to produce new goods. You're not going to be able to go out and have new product production chains and get new products and, and, and cater to your people because you have no new people to work. So any new people that you put in that building is removing it from someplace else, right? So 0% unemployment is a bad thing, but you don't want a high unemployment either. You know, if you're at 15, 20%, you're not fully utilizing your workforce. I like to keep mine somewhere in the vicinity of three to 5%. I think that's a pretty good idea. Snowplow, I don't know what you're doing. You seem pretty confused. Why don't you come over here and work there? You know, you can't do that. Probably, probably really super confused. How about you three come over here? Okay. I think this guy's confused because he can't get in here. Which I'm not sure why that is because I really have no idea why you are. Why are you confused? South technical office free. Just, just. Road Depot South. Just just go anywhere. I don't care. Yeah, go back over here. I don't I don't care. Just just get somewhere. Stop being lost. So this doesn't exactly work. Because it looks like the snow goes over top of your painting. Snow goes over top of your paint job. And uh, it doesn't get cleared out. So there's snow on top of the concrete here, but it's in a very straight line. So it doesn't look right. That sucks. Uh, let's get back over there. First, I was unreachable. Why are you unreachable? Did I not connect you with a road or what? I didn't. That would be why you're lost. You're very lost because of that. Here, go work over here. So I'm going to try to get this again more, um, more balanced. Get everything working real well there. That'd be good right there. Thank you very much. And I think I've done that now. Okay. So uh, big pipe. We don't need to have this done until, you know, next fall or something, right? So we're not going to prioritize that thing. And then this is done now. We should see this go like that. Nope. Wow. Yep. We should see cement getting pulled in here now without needing a truck. So we'll check back on this uh, later to make sure that that's actually happening. They're not working on this right now. And I don't know when they're going to get it done, but I need it done because my vehicles need repaired like badly. Is there anything I could do maybe right now, like a single truck, like you, clothing truck that unloaded all your stuff already? I think you're the winner here. And by winner, I mean you drew the short stick. I think what I want you to do is I want you to come over like this. I'm going to have you load plastics... Like 20%. Yeah, like very little plastic. So like 20% plastic. And then I want you to load probably 40% uh, electrical components. And then I want you to load uh, mechanical components to maybe another 40% of what you've got. And then fabric. Nope. Sorry. And then you'll load fabric to 100% of whatever's left. And you'll take all those resources... Yes, this works. Just watch. <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, it probably doesn't work, honestly. I, I probably have to do this differently. I, I, I want him to have a mixed truck so he has a lot of different stuff in his truck at the same time. I'm not entirely confident that he'll be able to do that. But I can get it to here, and that's the important thing. So why don't we just tell you to go 100% on everything. Until I get a proper distribution center that can handle this. 
But I do have one. I have I have covered holes right over there. Uh not very many, but I mean it's it's more sensible than doing what I'm doing, isn't it? If I just come over actually right to here. There's some stuff over here. I could transition that. Alright, tell you what. I want you to load at this location. This, this, this. There's no fabric there. Uh plastic if it's there, which I doubt it. It's not. No, it's just the electrical components and stuff. I need a border connection anyway. And I want you to load plastic. Yep. The basic essentials that this thing needs all the time. And I want you to be able to load this, not, not electronics, and, uh, and deliver it to this building, which is already assigned. Right. Which one are you? You're this one. Oh, I just, I'm out of it, man. Whew. Man, I got, I got some brain problems happening right now. I need to deal with that. Got some massive brain problems. All right. I was dropped in my head as a child, probably. <laughs> All right, there. Let's get that done, too. And hook that up to roads as well, please. And then that one's going to disrupt traffic, so we'll make that a high priority for road. How are we on the reconstruction project here? We got the bricks delivered. That's impressive. Wow. All the way from here. This is taking a while, man. They're delivering the mechanical components, at least. This one looks like the steel drop off. Yep. The steel's getting here. It's expensive. Maintaining your buildings is very expensive. So you need to have a very strong economy to support yourself because you'll get to 1970 you're gonna have to start maintaining your buildings and stuff like i am and you're gonna find that getting resources to actually maintain your buildings and having enough construction offices to handle that kind of thing it's it ain't there you know it's just not there you want it to be there but it isn't like i probably want another construction office that is entirely dedicated to reconstruction projects you know i need specialized construction offices that are entirely for that like i probably should put it here because that's gonna have to start being a thing that i need and maybe 16 you know i think 24 is probably better here if i pop this right here it makes more sense to put it on this side but yeah, then the road can be over here. So if I if I put this this building, this enormous building, which is just not a good spot for it because this could easily be a place where people could work. I would like it to be somewhere else. But it's not going to fit anywhere else reasonable. Maybe the 16 will fit here. Is the 16 more narrow? No, it's still kind of square. But it should fit here. Very close. Ooh. I almost got away with that. Ah. Uh, damn, that rail is just... Just enough. Alright, put a 12 in here then. 12 vehicles that are dedicated. I could put two 12s. Yeah, two 12s. This 12 here will be for the trucks that are going to grab resources to reconstruct and then we'll have another construction office we could just tell the worker you know the worker construction office could do it or we can have a second worker construction office i think this will work out okay i'm gonna put this office right here right here and then we'll just do a dirt road here for now unless you are already asphalt are you no, but I can actually go ahead and get that added now, too. So the last delivery of steel is just now going going in there. So it's all about work days now. And I'm curious to see whether or not the reconstruction and like what it looks like. Because it looks like there's some graphical changes happening here. Right? We got scaffolding and stuff on this building, which is pretty cool. All the while, it stays in operation. So they're just 
yeah, completely reconstructing it in place while it works, which is pretty cool. Um, the power plant has also had some deliveries done. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. And then uh, we also have over here, which has still the same amount of stuff. It looks like concrete needs to be delivered here, and I'm not sure why that's not happening. The only thing I can think of is maybe because the concrete guys are just not... Uh, they just don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they just don't care. Yeah, I didn't have to collect it. So they're not auto-searching reconstructions after all. This is over 50%. Maybe this isn't over 50%. It's 54. That auto-search should have been doing that. But we'll make sure that's all there. And we could actually go in and click like all of these different buildings to have uh, you know reconstructions and stuff go and deliver concrete supplies to like all these different places if they need it. Uh, especially this walking path. Like, I really want that done. All right, research is finished. That is the railway distribution office. That is done now, fantastic. Let's go in and get party members rankings. And then if we have the ability to, I'd like to figure out where the uranium is stored. Where is that research? Renewable energy is nice. Did I, I didn't do that already, did I? Oh, right here. Uranium mining, 1900 days. Wow. Well, we need to do it so that we know where it is. So we'll go ahead and hit that. And then, uh, yeah, party members ranking. I kind of feel like doing the secret police instead though. Because again, we're not going to be moving around much right now. I'm not building any new buildings. I'm just maintaining at the moment. So I don't need to know it right away, but getting to know people's loyalty and getting secret police going would be actually really good. And if I could, oh, no, this one. No, this one. Yes, pipeline pressure. Never mind. Oh, yes. Loyalty can wait. Pipeline pressure is incoming. Because the loyalty, the secret police is just to tell me who's loyal. It's not to make people more loyal. It's so that I have better information as to the state of the loyalty. But I already know the state of the loyalty is going to be abysmal. And until I get this building up, I'm never going to know whether or not they're, uh, you know, they're never going to be loyal anyway. 7% uh, have a radio. So many more electronics to sell, man. Taking a look at our economy. I think I want to get my train as, as bad as I, I really don't want to do this. I want a dedicated... I want a dedicated warehouse that can go right here that for electrical components and mechanical components, and that's all it stores. I don't want it to get in the way of chemicals and fabrics and stuff. And I really do want it like right here. I just, I know there's a way to fit this in, but I do remember that it was very tricky to do. Uh, because of where, where the road is pointing, it was very tricky to put this in. I want to say that it was... Uh... Maybe it was facing the other direction. Maybe it was like this. Come on. Is it is it here? Is this where it was? Come on, game. Come on, game. I think it was right here. And then you go like that, and then the road goes. Auto save, hi. Uh! Come on, you little SOB. There's a spot in here. I know it. Right there. I think that's I think that's it right there. Pop that in. And the road connects. Yes. Alright, so this is my little my dinky little road, okay? And uh there are many like it, but this one is mine. And uh, it's got a a factory connection to the to the rail. That's what I really wanted. Now, I did kind of spray a little dirt on the tracks for doing that. And, you know, I'm going to live with it. It looks bad, but I can't do anything about that. I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, if I lower... Can't, like, lower terrain or anything here. Or smooth terrain or, or whatever, right? By placing this building, it just kind of alters the train a little bit and goes over top of the tracks. We're just going to have to deal with that being a thing because I want this... And plus, even if I destroy it right now, it's still going to be that way. I don't think there's any way I can change it. Although I kind of want to test that theory, to be honest. Can I test that theory? I'm not going to test that theory. 
we're gonna build it this is gonna be uh, like i said a warehouse that is dedicated to having mechanical and electrical components right here so that all these guys can access that so what we could also do with this construction office right is it's gonna have to come all the way down and get this stuff this construction office i still need to get the roads done to make this stuff uh asphalt to get faster travel and everything through here but i think there we go i think uh it's still good to upgrade some of these so i'm gonna upgrade this one too get road crews on that i like doing the the roads in the winter because road crews i mean they don't really have anything else to do i don't want to use workers right i want i want to have as few worker buses going out as possible i do have some reconstructions that's obviously something i must do but and then the technical service offices that i want for my plows and all that stuff are still hooked up too but look at this building we're just rebuilding the heating plant it looks super cool like they got scaffolding running all the way up the top side here huh reconstruction and then i assume the wear and tear after that reconstruction will be zero that's what i assume anyway the lifetime of this building is supposed to be 20 years i thought isn't that what it said uh building lifespan 28 years doesn't that mean it'll last 28 years before needing i mean it apparently doesn't mean that it'll take 28 years before it needs reconstruction that's what i thought it meant but it has definitely not been 28 years it's that building's been sitting there for uh going on six years now i think that's accurate could be seven I mean, we brought people in in 65, so it couldn't have been more than seven years, I don't think. They're building a train station, too. Nifty. Oh, yeah. Getting the trains hooked up here would be really sweet. Speaking of getting the trains hooked up, say hello to my little friend right here. So I don't think I need the, both of these trucks to be doing this anymore. I'm going to have the train do it, I think. It's going to cost me more fuel, maybe. Nah, I don't know. I think these guys are doing an okay job right now. Oh, these are both... This is both the construction offices anyway. And having to travel all the way over here to get this stuff, is that quicker? I'm not sure it's all that much slower than just coming here for it. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a big deal. This is, though. Why are you guys having electricity problems? Building is without a power supply. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh shit! <laughs> um, well, that's a real thing now. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's not allow any citizens to move into the buildings that have no power, like this one. Probably shouldn't have allowed that. That's gonna be a problem. We need to get power hooked up to this building too oh goody all right so uh we'll put a power substation i guess right here probably should put it more closely more central to help out with that the whole load we'll put it right here instead yeah put it right here instead and uh you just go there and then we have one more connection on this unless i've used it nope it's right here one more connection on this. Come all the way across the tracks like this. Okay. Then we'll stretch you over to... Oh. You're not going to let me? I want to get right there. Okay, hang on. You'll let me do this, though. I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm good with it if you are. <laughs> Uh, looks like I gotta go maybe here, but then I can't go over the, se the septic tank, right? Yeah, I can't go over the sewage tank from there. So we'll pull this to here, I guess. I'm not using this space anyway, so... 
It's just important that I get the power routed to this location. And then have everybody do this on the double. I think the school is without a power supply too. Damn, that sucks. I wonder if I take... If I have less staff in here... Because you have rolling blackouts in the winter is definitely not a good thing. I wonder if I put less staff in this building, will it consume less power? That makes sense to me, right? So if I limit this to 10 staff, and I limit this building to 10 staff, does this permit? It does. Now it's down to 138. That's going to help me a little bit. Uh, we could reduce staff in here, but yeah, there's the sports needs is going to get hit right here too. So we kind of want to go to places that aren't super necessary. Maybe back them off just a tad here on the staff. We have way too many babies in kindergarten here. Overload of babies in kindergarten right now. And there's a reconstruction in progress here as well. 193 days. Good my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Construction is already complete. No, 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 no. I want the workers. It's not done. It's not. It's not done. Got 190, 123 work days is what it says. Anyway, we just got to get this completed now. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, we have so many projects. I don't know what they're what else they're gonna do anyway. I mean. We just have a lot of stuff we're building all the time. 213,000. The best, the least we could do, honestly, is is make sure that we have 100% of our power input, at least. So we could do this, just to make sure that that's, you know. See, this looks fine. We're not having as many rolling blackouts now. So, like, part of the problem is overloaded substations. And the other part of the problem is just not enough people in the power plant. Which, given my history, especially recent history, I sh probably should have checked that first. So this one's at 235%. So we definitely need more power connections. I'm thinking we could maybe come off the back side of this with, let's say, an I don't know, even a 13 or a 10. We can come off the back side of this 10 here. Maybe come over like my gosh it's gonna take a bit isn't it all right from here yep we can come all the way back like so hmm you know i don't really like this being here this winter is a test that's what it is winter is a test and yeah it is not that is not going to go forward at all. That is disappointing. Bring you to here. And then really that building's in the way, huh? Uh, I'd have to go around this way, which is longer and more resources, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to come up the middle. I really just want to hug this edge. Yeah, I, I want to hug this edge, but I'm going to have to come off a little bit here. I'm going to have to say maybe here instead. And then from here to go over. Damn, I'm still going to have to get in this area. At least I got past the hard part. Uh, go to the middle of the tracks there, and then we're going to head. I want to get in the way of the cable cars. Shit. We're going to have to follow the road. So I'm trying to make another power area. And 10 is a, a bit excessive, but since there's six connection points, potentially use all 10 of this. I don't know if I want to go here, though. I actually think the transformer could be situated right behind this. That's a good spot for it, anyway. We put this transformer here, like this. 
And then we'll just have the high voltage line go to there instead. And then we want extra substations added throughout the city to help out with all uh, the big power load we got going on. So I will put another one right here. That might be hard to get a line into though. They actually have to get a line to it, right? So like all this stuff is kind of crowded. I could put it on this side, but there's no road there. This would provide power to a lot of buildings. I could do this one, but then I can't put anything on top of this. Uh, we also have this one. Which could... Actually, you know what? Here, let's try this. I could go like this. Okay. And then a little dirt road. Or not. Come on. Yep, little dirt road. Uh, and then we could go an underground. Underground line. 145. Off of this switch here. Okay, and then just pop that in. That could provide some supplemental power to help out a little bit. And then on this one, right? I mean, I believe this thing is being fed by a 235. So it's not like we can really use any more power. It probably wasn't very wise to do the maximum gauge on that. But it's fine. It's Underground wires are not that expensive. And uh, we need to put more power over here too. So I'm thinking maybe... Ah, uh, man, I'm coming from that side, though. How about here? Nice and centrally located. Easy access. Right here. I like that spot. And then we need the maximum wattage on this line. So I need to find, yep, about like that. Yep. And then we can combine ourselves, combine with that one, like as as we as we go forward, right? So I'm just gonna say like this, and then here, right? And then over like this. Wow, outstanding! I mean, are the trains gonna? Yeah, totally. Okay, I don't really want that. Um, problem with canceling this wire is because it's on top of it. I have to be very careful of where I click. Okay. And then uh, from here, we'll just put it here instead. Not quite as high. Won't be, it won't be as absurd. There we go. And then we go that way to get over there.